I can't even say what my earliest memory is because it was just part of our life. Much of Amanda Stanton's life has surrounded the work being done in the fields of New England with her dad. Over the past 40 years, he has just become every farmer in Connecticut's best friend. Her father, Scott, ran a business selling tractors, mowers, and farm equipment across Connecticut. Farmers really trusted him. For more than a year, he battled cancer. Last month, the father of five passed away. It really hit me going to the hospital. Um, I was the only person allowed in. Um, it was literally me and security staff. I was escorted in and escorted out. Nobody else could even say goodbye to my father in the hospital. Coronavirus also wouldn't allow a traditional gathering to say goodbye. So Amanda thought of another kind of farewell fit for her dad, a parade. My father loved everything that moved, classic cars, classic trucks, and obviously, most importantly, tractors. So I, it just sort of came to me. Many families have had to deal with this. How do you honor the life of someone so close to you while we're forced to be apart? There's nothing that's going to replace a hug. But to Noah Weibsnyder, being physically distant doesn't mean it has to feel that way. She created Gathering Us, a platform for people to post memorials. She says in the past three months, there's been a 500% increase in traffic as the outbreak forced more people to stay home. The world will never be the same without her. Gathering Us also organizes virtual funerals. The thing I've been most struck by is that in a regular funeral, people are usually seated in rows. And so most of what you see is people's backs. But in a virtual funeral, you see everybody's faces, which is actually incredibly powerful. <laughs> For Amanda, she saw one face after another pass by in the parade honoring her dad. My family members and I stood six feet apart um, and just waved and people were able to say goodbye. She thinks close to 600 people came to say goodbye, including dozens on tractors, showing that whether on a street or online, a service can be less about physical closeness and more about the memories you'll always hold on to. He would have loved it. <laughs> We're still talking about it to this day and I'm still getting texts and phone calls that are saying it's the most powerful week they've ever been to.